My name is Apolena Mumzale, and this is my partner Nico Muka. Hi. Our project involves the FTT of modeling of earth electrodes, including the effects of soil ionization. Okay, so our project revolves around us analyzing soil ionization, soil ionization effect on an earth electrode that's directly inserted into earth. FTTD stands for finite different time domain. It's a time domain solution of discretized Maxwell Ampere and Maxwell Faraday equation. It supplies a simulation space divide by dividing the space into small rectangular sections called the E-cell. Our flow goes as far as initializing simulation parameter, then uh, computing variable resistivity using time varying resistivity model, then computing an E and H field and applying a boundary condition into the FTTD code, then obtaining some result where you observe different behavior of soil ionization and deionization. For the variable permittivity one, the permittivity was increased from 8 to 50 in three steps. The resistivity was fixed at 482.34 ohmmeters, which is the average resistivity, and the critical field was set to 0.075 kilovolt per millimeter, which is the worst case scenario for soil ionization onset. As can be seen from the table, the effect of soil ionization seems to be decreased with increasing resistivity, I mean permittivity. For the variable resistivity ramp, the resistivity was increased from 18 to 3024 ohm meters in steps of three. The critical field was set to 0.075 kilovolts per meter, millimeter, which is the worst case scenario for ionization onset, and the relative permittivity was fixed at 50. As you can see from the table, the effect of soil ionization again seems to be reduced with increasing um, resistivity. In case of lightning strike, the propagated electromagnetic wave will travel at speed relatively lower than the speed of light. We've computed simulation using 33% and 50% speed of light. Our result shows that the higher propagation speed produces a higher electric field. Okay. We're observing the PM field electromagnetic propagation across the XY plane represented from the center where the electrode is placed until it reaches its maximum value. The figure below illustrates the electric field distribution along the x-direction. This snapshot was taken at time t is equal to 149 nanoseconds, which is the peak, which is when the peak electric field intensity occurs. As you can see, the distribution follows a 1 over r squared relationship for cylindrical conductors, which was proposed by Gauss.